Hey Peabody, Pastor Rick here to invite everybody to go to church on Sunday. Just want to let you know that there are some questions that need to be asked and answered there. And so I encourage you to attend. I know the pastors, or at least three of the pastors here in town. Pastor Roger at the Baptist Church, love him dearly. Pastor Jim, who's been here the longest at the Christian Church. And Pastor Nate, who's the new guy, but he is also president of the ministerial and is doing a great job. And I want to encourage you, these are good guys, and they have got good things to say, and so you need to listen to them. Of course, I'm here to kind of promote Grace Point, and this Sunday we're going to be talking about what the Bible has to say about slavery, some of those difficult passages that people say, hey, you know, I can't believe the Bible because the Bible promotes slavery. And that's just not very accurate of a statement. In fact, in our history, uh, Southern slaveholders did invent a Bible, and they called it the, the Slaves Bible. And I want you to imagine that this bundle of books that I'm holding up is really, imagine it to be a Bible, okay? Just a really thick Bible. And I want to ask you the question, we know the Bible's got 66 books. There's, there's an awful lot covered in the Bible. But if you take one of those books away, one of those 66 books away, then you've changed the story of the book. And so a lot of people don't know that that slavery Bible that was produced, okay? The question that I'd like to ask you is, how many of these books do you think was kept and retained? If the Bible could be represented in these five books, how many of them were tossed out so that the slave owner could have a Bible that would promote slavery? Okay. Well, probably the better question is, how much of the Bible did they leave in? Okay. That's what they left in. The slave Bible was basically one-fifth of the Bible. And anytime you have to leave four-fifths of the story out, you're probably telling a story that shouldn't be heard. And so I would like to encourage you to get some information, to know just exactly where Christianity stands on these things, what Jesus would have thought, what the Bible has to say. Please, please check us out. And uh, hope to see you on Sunday.